today on Singles Court. Scott's being a bully, so Tamiya is taking off the gloves. Pins me down to the ground, wrestles me in front of all of our friends, and which is what you normally do. She says love's on the ropes if Scott doesn't start fighting fair. I just want to keep the boxing in the ring at Gary. And Antonio's therapy is driving Kenneth crazy. We were perfectly happy before he went to see this shrink. He wants the scoop before Tony flies the coop. Is it the fact that he's leaving the relationship to go do it? It's the fact that this is going on behind my back. It's not behind your back. He told you he was going. Yes, after three sessions into it. Welcome to Singles Court, the number one show on the Singles Broadcast Network. I'm the show's producer, Michael Day, but enough about me. You've already heard far too much. Let's meet the lovely host, relationship mediator, Angela Siegel. Hello, Michael. You look sexy today. Well, I just made a love match, so I'm in a good mood. All right. Well, let's get on with it then. Let's enjoy this good mood that you're in. Today <laughs> in our studio, we have Tamia and Scott. They met recently at a boxing club, and Scott thought Tamia was a knockout. However, he wants to get physical, and Tamiya wants to throw in the towel. It's dragging her down a bit. So I call this the case of the boxing glove lovers. Mm -hmm. To me, it's interesting that you were taking a boxing class, and we're lucky enough to meet somebody. So tell me what the problem is. Well, actually, it started off absolutely great. I'm one of the few women that works out at this boxing club, Gary's. And when I saw Scott, it was fantastic because normally none of the guys want to box with me. They always want to go gentle and, and you know, put on the kid gloves. Scott came in the ring and we were really well matched. Oh, Even though sleep. he was fighting was full sleep. force, I it. still beat him. And it was <laughs> well, well, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. We got on there and I said to myself, man, I got to box this girl. And I said, yeah, man, she's so sweet. But I had, I could, I had to be soft because, uh, you know what, she's a girl. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to hurt her or nothing, you know. So uh, we boxed and she hit me in the eye and I knew that this is the girl for me. Yeah, I met her, you know? That's perfect. Hit, hit in the eye, ouch. I oh, must love you. Oh, it was you. sweet. It was sweet. I understand. He toe to toe with us. And by yeah. the end, he didn't have to hold back at all. Yeah, well. <laughs> because we were so well she was matched. You're like matched. really excited about this. So it, it, it actually it was a wonderful relationship. We've been, we've been involved for about three months now mm -hmm. and, you know, staying at each other's, you know, cribs and whatnot. Yeah. But lately, the boxing and the wrestling is just getting a little bit out of hand. Well, we're really okay, out of hand, though. But to me, it's the basis of your relationship It's the so basis far. of our relationship. We're very physical, you know, and we love each other, but I just want to keep the boxing in the ring well, at what Gary's. Do you mean? We had no problems. Right? She, what do, what she, do you say about that, Scott? She's saying in the ring it's cool, but outside the ring it's not so fun. Well, I don't understand what she's talking about. Because okay. as far what as I'm concerned, oh, we, she's sexy when she's boxing me, man. We'll have a great time. And, and I think he, it's, he will box me for the remote control. If I'm <laughs> watching TV, Yeah, but you enjoy it. The thing is, she likes that because the thing is, she'd take the remote control from me and she'd be playing with the TV. So I, you know, come in there and take it back, and we'd roll on the carpet and have a good time. She doesn't look I, like she's angry. I have a question for you, Scott. She doesn't look like she's angry. Okay, question. When she says, "I don't like this," stop. What do you do? Well, she doesn't say that. That's the thing I don't understand. Well, if you're not saying it to me, you know that's not true. I let her it know is true. that when I get home from work, I have a very hard job. I, I, uh, what do you do? I'm a bartender okay. at a local bar in our area called Shorty's, and uh, a lot of Scott's friends go there. It's, it's a guy's bar, and sometimes, you know, it's rough. When I get home, I'm tired of, you know, dealing with all these guys hitting on me. I just want to come home, chill out, have my man give me a massage, massage. or back rub. What massage? I don't He's a boxer. Massage. You met exactly. him boxing. That's right. I mean, you set him up in a situation. I mean, really. You met him in a boxing class. He thinks you're sexy because you box. It sounds like the central point of your relationship. So tell me how you are saying to him no means no, don't do this. I, what I mean is I don't want to do what we do in the ring at home. A little bit of play fighting is cool, but when it gets into, you know, t just we, too much power, you know. How is power? he supposed, Scott. Sorry. How is he supposed to know when it gets to be too much? What do you do to let him know that? I tell him I'm not going to fight. This is too much. He has started to do this in public. Okay. In public, but our friends know this. They know that we play fight. They know I'm not hurting you. They know that if I was, if if I hurt you, Scott, you're saying you play fight. Your friends right. know you play fight. 
But she's saying, look, I want to keep it in the ring. Can you see her any other way except for as uh, Muhammad Ali's no, daughter? because that's all I know. I mean... <laughs> no, did you hear what he just said? To me, he sees you as the boxing babe. <laughs> Do you understand that? That's how you started your relationship. You got what you know. You got what you saw, and now it's coming back. So what are you going to do about it? Well, if this relationship is going to if it is going to evolve, and if this relationship is going to work, this is a big issue because I am your lady. <laughs> you I see, may I, be I, I may be your you girlfriend know? buddy sometimes, but I'm also your girlfriend but lady. You should tell me. You should talk to me well, about I'm, it because I'm you may, maybe what they need on the, the on the coffee table beside the couch is a bell that you can ring and settle <laughs> Scott down. <laughs> are you are you ever Michael? Well. I, are you ever in a situation, Scott, where you are hearing what she's saying? Uh, she's saying... I listen to everything she says, Angie. But, but what do you do about it? Hearing it's one thing, doing something... But well, she's not saying anything to make me feel as though... What would she need to say? Well, do maybe you need she a megaphone? say something like, you know... It's ding, ding, a ding. Too rough. You know what? I Round have... three? I mean, what does she well, need to no, say? She's no, not, she's not saying a thing to me. She's just smiling. You know, every time we play, she's got a smile on her face. She's got no problem. A smile on my... Did I have a smile on my face last weekend, Scott? What happened okay, last tell weekend? me what the problem was last weekend. weekend. Tell happened me what the problem we was last the, weekend. Scott, tell we went me to the, the beach problem. with our friends and we were horsing around, and playing around. And we had no problems with that, Angie. Okay. I'm telling you. For as far as I understand you now. You know what? Let her tell me. Please. You know, don't make me get my boxing gloves. Because I believe in weapons. Okay, go ahead. So, we were at the beach playing around and all the girls, we went out, we got some water, threw it on the guys. Scott comes pins me down to the ground, wrestles me in front of all of our friends yes. which is what you normally do. Beach. Why is that? And he holds me down until I apologize. Why is that? I was so embarrassed. I wasn't fighting oh. back. I told him this is not cool. I said this is not cool enough because I was already humiliated enough. And this is where it's going to we, the next level. This is about power, Angela. Angela. You, this is about control. Okay, do you... She saw, she, did, did that happen? I mean, did you... Yeah, well, it happened. Down? Yeah, oh. it did. But only, oh. only because I was, I was mad because of the fact that in the beginning, we you were had mad played in around. Boxing. Oh, that was, that's a good combination. <laughs> well, you know, we were playing around. We were having a good time. There's only one time she ever really mentioned that she wasn't too thrilled about it. I have a question. So I decided I respected it. I said, you know what? Okay, I understand. Maybe I'm overboard. A little bit overboard. So, <laughs> yeah, so I got I, mad because of the fact that here, we're talking double standards here. Did any of you guys? She's do telling that me. She's telling me. She's. I have a question. I have a question for you. Can you see her as sexy and exciting in any other way except for when she's boxing you? Yeah, but... Well, give me an example, because I haven't heard any. All I've heard, both of you talking about, which, you know, understand this, Tamia, you, you got what you got. He didn't change. He's the same person you met in the ring, the same person you saw as, as exciting. Your relationship is based on boxing, which is really scary. So tell me if you can see, if you can see her in any other way, because she's trying now to switch up the rules on you and saying, look at me as a sexy person, as a, as a person outside the ring. But it's, can you see her that way? <laughs> well, see, <laughs> it's the only way I know. It's the only I know her is that. That's all I know is that. To me, what do you say? To she that? is so sexy. I say it's not cool. Out. She's None the only woman I ever met. The only woman I ever met who doesn't worry about her hair or or manicuring. Like she's, she's like me, one of the boys. Listen to him. Listen to what he's saying. Because you know you need a little bell to go off on top of your head. He's saying I think you're sexy in the ring, outside the ring. He's, basically, I'm not interested. Do you hear that? Well, wait, it's not that I'm not interested. It's just, it's just. Uh, well, then this just, relationship is in jeopardy. Well, I like, because I, none of the other no. guys. You're not kidding. You know what, you know what? Ding, ding, ding. Angie, Angie. Round four. We're leaving. Yeah, Time Angie, for my resolution. Angie. I've seen relationships built on a lot of things, but boxing, this is a first. Tamia, I have to tell you that. What you see is what you get. It's what you saw from the beginning. It's what attracted you to each other. It's what attracted you to him. You know, there should be no surprises there. I believe you sent mixed messages. I think at one point you were saying, no, please, no, please, then please, 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 no. So by sending those mixed messages and not being firm, it was almost inviting and exciting, and, and it gave all of the reasons for him to continue to act like he did. Uh, if you're going to say no, be firm in your no. You can't say no and then wrestle for half an hour afterwards. Scott, you on the other hand, saw her as a boxing babe. No matter what she said, that's where your attraction came from. It came from the fact that you liked boxing with her. And I'm not saying anything's wrong with that, but I think you have to realize that that is the reason that you're attracted to her, because you like that. You know, relationships are based on a lot of different things, but you have to remember who you meet in the beginning 
It's who you carry throughout the relationship. It doesn't change. If you, the attraction is based on only one thing, then you're not able to add things and hope that eventually the person will change their mind. What I suggest both of you do is try to find a common ground to grow the relationship beyond boxing, to try to get to know each other and see if there are reasons, if there are things that make you both interested in each other besides the ring. Because I tell you one thing, if you don't do that, I can guarantee you it's just a matter of time before this relationship will be down for the count. And that's that in black and white. Next on Singles Court, Antonio's therapy is driving Kenneth crazy. We were perfectly happy before he went to see this shrink. He wants the scoop before Tony flies the coop. I know what goes on there. He sits in this nice easy chair talking to the therapist behind my back. It's a trash Kenneth session. Welcome back to Singles Court. Did you miss us? Well, dry your eyes, because here's my girlfriend with the gavel, Angela Siegel. I am not your girlfriend. Oh, come on. Michael. <laughs> we go out shopping together. That's true. You're a good shopper. There you go. I'll give you that. But enough about clothes. Let's get on with it. Today in our studio, we have Kenneth and Antonio. Kenneth works at a bank, and Antonio is a travel agent. They've been dating for a few months now, and everything's been peachy until Antonio told Kenneth that he's been going to see a therapist. And Kenneth has since shrunk away. I call this the case of the incredible shrinking boyfriend or get out of your head and into my bed. Michael. Antonio, you seem to be having an issue with um, the relationship. Tell me about it. Yes, well, this past weekend, um, Kenneth and I, we went up to a cabin a friend's cabin and um, because I think I feel like the relationship was getting to another level and what level would that be cabin well, level exactly oh yes. don't don't make him sound like it was some big trip somewhere it was a little cottage up north we never go on any trips anywhere we never take any tr airplane trips you're a travel agent yes you I get know. them for free can I me finish please um, now Ooh. the thing is I thought I figured well you know yes he's a little bit uptight yeah, now. He, he's kinda um, hot with reason you. being is because I think I, it's because I'm I'm seeing a therapist now. I just went for maybe one or two sessions and uh, he seemed to flip out. Flip out about Well first of all he flipped, he's flipping out about the idea that you're going to a therapist? Yes, I think so. And um, I, I don't understand why. I mean the relationship is very good and very open. Uh, it's a very trusting relationship and uh, I, I just don't understand why when I mentioned to this uh, to him he just went berserk. Okay, can, can okay, I can ask right here, you're seeing a therapist, you're not seeing a therapist, right? Exactly, I'm, okay, I'm okay. yes. <laughs> Are you concerned for personal reasons? Just, just wondering, my, just, just my imagination. Michael? What's the issue in terms of the therapist? Most people are happy when their mate decides to improve themselves. Well, Antonio, can't you see? Okay, therapists. Right. They're all perverts. Shrinks, all they do is talk about sex. Everything is Oedipus this. Everything is sex, sex, sex. You know, I, let's think about this, okay? Think about what you're saying. First of all, you're making a general statement based on what? Uh, all... Based on fact, what I know, what's happened to me in the past. What do you know? What's happened to you in the past? Let me, let me know, please, fill me Look, in. I mean, have you all have had this conversation, I hope, before you came yes, here? Yes, we we've had this conversation. I've let him know, please, you know, trust me on this. I cannot mention exactly why I'm seeing a therapist. It's because it's a personal reason of mine. Something that's been holding me down for quite some time now, for most of my life. And, it, and hold on. And, you know, I, I, need to, I need to do this in order to get over this, this issue that I have in my life. Okay, okay let, let me go back to you, Kenneth. I mean, te, you, you need to help me understand why you have such hostility towards, is it the therapist? Is it the fact that he's leaving the relationship to go do it? Where is, tell me where it is. It's the fact that this is going on behind my back. It's not behind your back. He told you he was going. Yes, after three sessions into it. Oh. I know what goes on there. He sits in this nice there? easy chair talking to the therapist behind my back. It's a trash Kenneth session. Okay. And what happens? He comes out of there and decides that he wants to leave the relationship and go pursue, I don't know, high and mighty things himself. Yes, I do want to you know, be able to spread my wings and fly because this is something I need to do in my life to get over this. But, you know, let me ask you a question, Antonio. Yes. How come you didn't tell him initially? Like, why did you wait until after three sessions to tell him? Because it sounds like he has, I mean, he sounds hurt about a lot of things, but yeah, that's it's one a, thing that hurts. It's him. a trusting relationship. It's a very open relationship, no, like I said. No, but it's not open because you didn't tell him. Why did you not tell him until after three mm -hmm. times? Well, because first of all, I want to know whether this is going to work or not for me. What is going to work? The therapy. 
Okay, so okay, you didn't I've tell tried. him that you were thinking about going because you wanted to see if it would work? Yes, it's, it's something I didn't want to mention. It's something I can't mention right now because it, it, it's supposed to be a surprise. The surprise uh, is that he's, surprise? Not willing, he's not willing to commit. That's what he's talking about. He's not willing to commit. The reason we never travel or go anywhere is because he's not willing to commit. Commit to what? He won't even go to my sister's wedding next month. <laughs> he won't travel there and see her because he's not willing to commit. He's not willing to be with me. He's going to leave. I know he uh, is. No, so, I'm not. Wait, I I don't want Let's to break go. up. I don't want to leave. I want to make this relationship Antonio, work. Antonio, when he says you don't want to commit, what do you think he means by that? I don't know. I, you don't it, know. Okay, it just it boggles me because... Let, let me give you... We'll ask him, okay? Yes. Kenza, what do you mean when you say he doesn't want to commit? I mean, you've gone into this big hysterics about he's going to leave. I know he will. Uh. So let's go back to the, your point about him not wanting to commit. How do you know that, and what exactly do you mean by commitment? Well, let's look at the telltale signs. Let's. He's seen a shrink. Okay. All right. We know what happens when you're in with the shrink. What happens? Some you people start... get better. Did you think about that? And some people leave. Some people get worse. Okay. What do you mean? How do you know that? What are you basing that on? All right. You remember Frank, right? Yes. Who doesn't know Frank? Frank. All right. I was seen a gentleman by the name of Frank. And uh, we were seeing each other for about a year. And uh, Frank came up to me and said, honey, I'm going to go to therapy. And I was supportive. I said, sure, I'm behind you. I'm going to, actually, I'm beside you. I'm going to stand right beside you. I'm going to be your partner. I'm there with you. Mm -hmm. So we went to therapy. And three weeks into the session, what happens? I don't he know. He leaves me. Yes, the shrink convinces him that I'm some sort of mother figure that's making him feel less alone. But did it ever occur to you that maybe that was the best thing? Well, it wasn't the best thing. We were perfectly happy before he went to see this shrink. Oh, so now, this is, this is the first time fault. I ever hear this from him, too. He, never, he only told me that you and Frank just broke up. You had your differences, and that's it, and he left. See, so talking about being you, trusting you... and opening. I mean, come on. Okay, he, but you Antonio... should have told me this before. It would have been different. Antonio, do you, do you hear what he's saying? Can you feel his pain? He's directing it at the therapist, but really what he's saying is, if Look, you do this, then I'm afraid you'll, that I, you'll leave. All I've told Kenneth here is to trust me. Trust me, please trust me on this but, one. Look, if, if... Antonio. Yes, if my therapist was here right now. No, yes means now you let me ask the question. Yes. Okay, Antonio, do I have your permission to speak with a therapist? Because maybe by talking to him, maybe he can help to convince Kenneth of what you're saying. Yes, it, Dr. Desmond, he, he, will, he will let him know okay, we that he have has your nothing permission? to fear about this. I, I have Dr. Desmond on line two right now. Okay. Put him through. There, I think. Hello? Doc yes. Hello, Dr. Desmond. Yes. Hi, this is Angela Siegel from Hello. Singles Court. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? G I'm doing great. Right. I have one of your patients here, Antonio Rivera. Yes. And he, with his permission, he's given me permission to speak with you. I just want to know what your take is on res with respect to Antonio being able to continue in his relationship based on what he's talking to you about in therapy. I sincerely doubt that, since I'm only treating Mr. Rivera for his fear of flying. Now, if you excuse me, I have a patient. Kenneth. There it is. Kenneth. Unless you're planning on having a relationship in an airplane, it doesn't seem as though it's threatening to your relationship. I mean, this is what I was trying to explain to him before. I cannot tell him this. This is very embarrassing for me. I'm a travel agent, for God's sakes. You know, f with a fear of flying? Come on. It's a fear of flying? That's the only reason we haven't gone on trips? Yes. See? We haven't gone to your sister's wedding or we're not Excuse going to... Excuse me. Revelation. Yes. I'm going to come back with my resolution. You two can talk about the travel details, and I'll be back with my resolution. fear the great immobilizer. In your case, Antonio, I commend you for seeking help to help get rid of the fears that you have. I commend you for that because in your case, that fear stopped you dead in your tracks or midair and you sought out help to do something about that and I commend you for that. On the other hand, Kenneth, your fears, you allow them to control all your thoughts and I understand that the past causes a lot of people to have fear and that's understandable yet not justified. Just because something happened to you in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen to you necessarily again. And being afraid of it won't stop it either. So that part I can understand and I want you to know that I'm not telling you never be afraid 
because I know that everybody has fears. But you have to understand that you can't impose them on the relationship because by doing that, you're dooming it from the start. You know, relationships, as I said, do include fear. They have to. It's a human, natural emotion. There's nothing you can do to get around that. But you always must remember that within the fear, you have to find strength. And in both of your case, you need to understand that all it's going to take is honest and open communication to keep this relationship flying high. And if you remember and put that first, the fact that you need to respect, speak to each other, and care for each other, you'll know that's the ticket. And that's that in black and white. Well, there it is. When it comes to relationships, you need more than just a good right hook. You gotta bob and weave. And don't talk to the hand. Talk to your man. I learned that from the queen of extremes, the queen of contrast, Angela Siegel. Join us next time here at Singles Court, the final word for singles. <laughs>